I think it's awesome. It's been quite a popular attraction at Pioneer Courthouse Square over the last three days. <laughs> a pathway like nothing these pedestrians had ever walked across before. Yeah, the floor was, felt like you were walking on water. I'm not even sure how it works, but that's pretty cool. So under each one of these little marks here is a generator. Like a solar panel creates power by capturing energy from the sun, these smart tiles create power by capturing the force of footsteps. Yeah, floor energy. Perfect. Love that. That's cool. Tell me more. Bank of the West partnered with London-based company PaveGen to bring the demonstration here to Portland. I kind of want to know how it works. This is really cool. It's actually pretty simple. As pedestrians walk across the tiles, their footsteps compress electromagnetic generators below the surface. So as you walk through the array here, your footsteps are being collected and it's connected to these lights here. So every footstep you take is helping to contribute to power those lights. But that stored energy could be used for other things as well, like charging your cell phone. Just 10 steps can charge a phone for one minute, which means an average day of walking. I don't know, I walk 10 to 15,000 steps a day. Or more. Can power a smartphone for more than 16 hours. Right now, this technology is being used in cities across the world, including DuPont Circle in Washington, D.C., where it is powering lights in the high traffic area. As for the possibility of pedestrian generated power, in Portland? There's no plans yet for a permanent one in um, Portland, but some of the interest that the community has is, is definitely in support of that. So hopefully, you know, in, hopefully it, it will happen. It could one day happen. Now this demonstration is touring four West Coast cities in all. It's already been to San Francisco, Sacramento, and obviously here in Portland. That truck's next stop, Los Angeles.